and we're back with some more RimWorld. And our little tribals here are slowly but surely becoming decent wizards in their own right. Well, Thumb is maxed out, Index is only a level 2, but they'll be a level 3 once we get this up to 20 Anima Grass. Uh, on the other hand, we've got some operations queued up for Ring here. We managed to extract a nuclear stomach from one of the ancients we found in the crypto, ah, crypto sleep caskets. We also picked up an immuno enhancer, so why not? We'll give them that as well at the same time. They're already on Luciferium, so any cancers they get from the nuclear stomach should hopefully be cancelled out. Oh, and there was a lot of mentions about uh, poor Thumb here. They got a whole bunch of brain scars and trauma savant. And everyone's been saying that maybe we can get rid of the trauma savant with these things. Healer mech serum. So the healer mech serum can cure a trauma savant, I have been informed. Haven't actually tested it myself. However, we sort of don't want to lose the trauma savant. Uh, the weird thing about it is it gives them a 50% bonus to their manipulation, which turns out their surgery success chance has jumped to about 147%. Also, their secondary skill, well, their, the thing we use them for most besides medical is actually artistic, which means when they're crafting now, they'll be able to craft a, craft a statue much faster. Uh, also on top of that, any damage they take to their brain won't kill them because they're already a trauma savant. Well, not that it won't kill them. Uh, normally you get consciousness reduction, which reduces the effectiveness of the pawn, but they're still running at 100%, actually 110%, fire starting spree middle. I'll take care of that in a second. So they're still running at 110%, so no one cares. In fact, we're kind of better off leaving them that way. Of course, we'll have to heal the brain scars. The Luciferium will eventually heal all the brain scars, which will get rid of that uh, nasty debuff they're getting from the minor pain of having an itchy brain, which... Ugh. Anyway, let's uh, just skip this forward a bit while we get ourselves some praying in. While everyone over here is getting their prey on for the day, I thought we would try something a little different. Uh, I saw this on the Reddit forums the last day. It's for shooting training. What we've got is we've got Chief here and... Yeah, they're, they're a little bit weak on the shooting skill, so we've equipped them up with an EMP launcher. And now we're going to get them to shoot our donkey. Thing is... The EMP launcher doesn't actually do any damage to a donkey, but it still counts as shooting training because, well, it's firing a weapon at a live target, which is what counts for actual experience. Meaning we can use this to train up of our people at shooting to get everyone up to level 10. Now, I don't know, this is probably considered exploitive. Okay, yeah, this is definitely exploitative, but I think I'm okay with it. Oh my god, Tom, why are you in a binge? Oh, I forgot to put flowers down by the tree, so everyone's getting a little bit stressed out. Yeah, what's everyone's needs? Hmm, you know what? Maybe we should uh, plant some flowers over there. But yeah, I think we are going to get Chief to do stuff like this for a while. While everyone else is praying, Chief can't. Chief does not have the uh, the natural focus, so they can't pray at the tree. They can only pray at walls and stuff like that. And well, that's no, no use to us. So I'm thinking we'll still spend their, their day while everyone's praying at the tree, just shooting at a doggy until they get their skills up to be good enough. We didn't get a chance to start our prey on today, so we're only at nine anima grass. Uh, we have a small bit of a problem. We have a raid from the mechs. And when I say a small bit of a problem, I mean a randy sized problem. I mean 15 centipedes, 13 lancers, and six pikemen. Right, so if we have seven colonists and we have to kill 15 centipedes, we divide that by seven, and we have 13 lancers, and then we have six pikemen, and we carry the one, and that equals death. Yes, all of those equals death. I can't see any solution in this where we kill these and don't die. It, it even, yeah, we're going to be using an animal pulser here, but that's just going to be to buy us time. They're going to slaughter every single animal on the map and walk out the other side. What we... Oh. Let me think. The plan. It's it's the only one I can think of that might potentially get us out of here alive. We can't. We can try running, but if we want to pack any of our gear and not just run straight off the map, we need to buy ourselves some time. So we're going to run inside, do our normal, pull in all the animals, and activate the animal pulser. The hope would be we want to wipe out all the lancers and the pikemen. Well, the lancers at least. The pikemen I'm not so worried about. The lancers, however, are pretty zippy, and I'd prefer if they were not so zippy anymore. So if we can wipe out the lancers with the animal pulser, then that just leaves us with the centipedes and the pikemen. We can have Index run them around in circles on a merry goose chase around the map, and while he's doing that, we get the rest of the colony out of here. That's the guts of the plan. I have no idea if it'll work or not. So, uh, animals? What are you... Oh, damn it. I forgot to change the zones properly. Animals have all went back inside, doors are just about to close, Index is about to activate an animal pulser, and all of the Lancers ran ahead. There's 13 Lancers there, and then everyone else is much further back. Now, hopefully, this should catch them right about there. Okay, all the animals are aggressive. 
Oh, wow. Two of them are already down to traps. That will work out fine. Oh, there's a bunch of boomlumps after them. No, no. Spread out, guys. Spread out. Don't, don't stick up. If you clump up. Yep, that's what happens when you clump up. Ah, no. So many tasty explosions wasted. Well, at least it give the, the rabbits a chance to get in close. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh, well. This is absolute chaos. Just get the lancers. All I want dead is the lancers. Oh my god, it's a flaming inferno over here as well. The muffalos stood no chance. No chance. Oh god. This is like watching a strategy game where someone's using artillery against tribals. Ugh. Okay, come on, just take them down. Oh, we were in so much trouble. Uh, one minute while I set up our zones. Okay, everyone's allowed to move around inside. Oh! You beauty! Sneaky boomalope. Dear lord, how come none of them are dying? Yeah, we're almost out of animals. This is not going good. We may just have to fight. I really do not want to fight this type of army. Oh, wow. Those centipedes just waltzed through that like it didn't even happen. Yeah, guys, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to need you to jump in there. Oh, great, they're going after the pikemen. You'll last all of about five seconds. Hmm, but it'd be really nice right now is if our allies showed up. Oof. Yeah, I'm not holding out much hope. We're going to have to use our animals as a meat shield. Oh, this is going to get really all sorts of messy. Probably retreat into this area. It's stone. We've got a better chance. Jesus. That is just brutal. Now, if we... No, too many of them are still uninjured. If they were all injured, we might have a chance of running around some of them, but we don't, do we? An index can't even leave it at the front door. It's guarded by a turtle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, what's out here? Nothing that could stop Index. I think Index can go for a bit of a jog. Index? Sorry, buddy. You're going to be our, our one hope here of not dying. Nope, nope. There's a rat at the front door. What? Rat, go away. That's fine. Boom, and we're out of here. Juke him, juke him. Okay. So Index is going to act as the bait. If he can pull them all down to the bottom of the map, maybe we can escape with everyone else. Yep. I think this might work if they follow Index. We'll hide them down there for the time being and keep an eye on the map. The Lancers are finishing off the last of the animals. There's a couple more. Oh, wait, no, that's more centipedes. Never mind. Why are those centipedes there? I'm going to assume they were hunting something down. Oh, okay, okay. Our only hope, though, is that they come after Index. If they chase Index, we're good. If they come straight into our base, it's going to be a very brutal knife fight in a phone booth. Nope, they're all coming down. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we need to make a caravan. We need to make a caravan, and we need to make sure that the caravan leaves this direction. I'm going to do some playing around with zones and things, and we should be able to get him to do that. One moment. All right, we have managed to draw away most of the enemy forces. The slowest ones are here, still closest to us. Uh, what we're going to do here as well is... I have no idea if this will work, but if we make, make it so that the people in the group leaving can only access this area via Area 4, maybe that's the side of the map they'll go on. This is going to be an interesting operation. What I've done is I've scheduled a caravan. Uh, the caravan is going to leave from here and go to there. It's involving everyone but Index, who's currently, of course, on the lamb from the entire, the entire mechanoid force. Everyone, though, is locked in here. I've locked all the doors and sealed them so that they can't get out. So it's warned to me some people can't reach the exit. In other words, all of them. But in theory, they should stay in here, pack up all the animals, and then only after they're all ready will I open the door. And then they should all run straight towards the edge of the map. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I forgot the hoopstone ring. Oh, no. Oh, well, I can... I could be fine with that. Index, uh, yeah, your job will be to run all the way to the end and then uh, immediately go up around this side. Uh, we have a zone set up. Where is it? Uh, expand that area. Area 4. We're going to put all our pawns in that, and hopefully when it's time to exit the map, they'll follow that zone, though honestly, I'm not sure. It's all a gamble. They may just try and run straight through the centipedes, in which case we're going to have problems. Yeah, we'll let them keep packing. All right, they're all packed. We're leaving behind 5,000 silver, 317 gold, 300 jade, and a bunch of... Oh, you know what? It's all painful. But... Hopefully, they'll go out this way. Now just run, the lot of you. 
I don't care how you do it, just get off the edge of the map. Index, you better be moving. Buddy, just, no, don't stop. Don't stop moving. Fire, yep, that's okay. You know what? This, this could be worse. Oh god, no. What? Why are you going this way? Why? <laughs> um... Right. This is, this is the dumbest caravan route. Just, just keep going. Oh god. Oh Christ. Okay, so we've got two Lancers. Index, just keep running, buddy. Uh, you are going to go that way. Why are they doing this? You dumb, 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 dumb pawns. Oh god. Okay, no. No, index is still... No. Yep, that Lancer's changed its mind. It's going to start taking bot shots at people. Oh god, 2% chance of death every time. I don't want that. Oh, why, Tom, why are you moving so slowly? Food poisoning. You're recovering from food poisoning. That is... Oh, okay, what are we going to do here? You know what? I think Index should probably go up and mele melee that down. Everything else is gone. I think these are going... Where are they going? Are they going to attack the animals? We might have to start removing donkeys and things from the caravan. <sighs> or we get Index to start caravaning them themselves. That might be an idea. No, no. We'll let him. We'll let him keep running from now. If he's drawing one away, that is fine. That lancer is. Yep, that lancer is still being a douche. Oh my God! Why are you so slow? Your donkey folds. Yep. What are you carrying? Beer. Oh God! Chem fuel. Large jade sculpture. Good. All things I would like to keep, but for the greater good, we can make sacrifices. Okay. I'll let you know when it gets interesting. So. Okay, a weird AI behavior here. These all seem to be going to attack our base that we have left. I I don't know why. That's fine by me. Uh, the only one that's causing us any problems is this Lancer right here. And I think... Pinky, you should probably go over and say hello to them. And then I want you to immediately go over and say hello to them some more. Yep. Yeah. Thank God for that Zeus hammer. Those things have been an absolute godsend. Right. Uh, we're waiting for those donkeys to catch up, which is fine. Index is still on walkabout. I'm not even sure anyone's pursuing them anymore, but we're going to keep them running. And we've got to wait for the rest of these donkeys and Thumb to catch up. Oh my God. Yep. Stop walking through the fires. That would be a good idea. That food poisoning was a major inconvenience. That was my own fault. I, I did not put a home zone on my kitchen at the start. And a shoot frenzy for Thumb. Well... She will have a wonderful time shooting if we were sticking around, which we are not. And, yeah, I think... No, I'm not going to jinx myself. Now, let's get Index out of here as well. Pinky seems... I, I know they don't have it, but she, she sort of looks proud. It's like, yep, yep, just totally pounded that Lancer into the ground. <laughs> okay, you, you get back to forming your caravan there. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, Chief's caravan is off. Index had a bit of a hairy one. Their caravan forming point was down here, so we had to run them back around. We we ended up zapping a Lancer with the Psychic Shock Lance. It was taking a bead, so zapped him with the Psychic Shock Lance, and Index looks like they're about to make it off the map. We did, unfortunately, lose 25 beer and a donkey. So the beer was on the donkey, and that's, yeah, that's 25 beer we're not getting back. But the, the beer can be replaced. The silver can be replaced. Oh, the jade can be replaced. All of all of those lost resources can be replaced. Colonists cannot. Damn it. These things are just... It gives you a reminder just how unstoppable they are. That was 15 centipedes arrived. 15 centipedes remain. They just don't die. They took out an entire biome's worth of animals and just kept wandering. Oof. Alright, let's... Uh, let's get our people together and get out of here. I think one of the things that hurts most... Well... A lot of the things hurt from this. We're going to lose all of that anima grass. It's going to get destroyed in the fire. I kind of hold that hope of returning at some point in the future and maybe reclaiming some of the silver and gold and jade. But everything else, yeah, they're going to spend their time pounding it into paste. There will be nothing left. Not a wall, nothing. Uh, on the bright side, the limestone walls here will probably get left behind because we never claim them, so they won't target them. <laughs> ah, well. 
pity. That's one base we had to abandon on the run on the fly, but we were lucky to get out of there alive. Our exit route was just nightmarish. If anyone knows how you can control your exit, please let me know. That would be really great. Also, uh, we got an animal plague with malaria and an animal flu as well. So hopefully our animals are not going to die when we're on the road. We're going to settle down really nearby and uh, get everyone healed back up again before we move on. How are we looking here? It'll be 0 0.4 days to the restock, but that's okay because we have nothing to sell. We had to leave it all behind. I am not going to demolish the old colony just yet. I figure we leave it behind. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what happens to the centipedes. Do they just hang around here forever or do they eventually get bored and just leave? Sort of like pirates would. Uh, we have set up a new caravan spot over here, uh, just two tiles away. Namely because we can't set up one, one tile away. Uh, we are going to have our people enter that. We already have a scout in. It's uh, we didn't send an index this time. Index was yeah. Index actually got food poisoning. <laughs> a bunch of our people ended up getting food poisoning because of my stupidity. It's fine. It's fine. Now where is everyone? Let's bring them all over and start another colony. This map is actually not that bad. We've got an ancient danger right here, and just up north of it, we've got the tree. And for finding the tree, there was some useful suggestions. One of them was that I grab something on the map. Say like uh, where was it? There's a table. So grab a table, claim it, and then do the reinstall feature. And then when I'm scrolling around the map, I can see the big red line coming out of the tree when I get close to it. And it might be hard to see at a distance, but that means I can kind of run this around. When I see the red line, I know there's a tree in the local area. Uh, now, what we're we going to do here. We were going to get them to chop this down and make ourselves a new little settlement. All right, this is a new one on me. Thumb is feeding beer to Donkey 10. Are we out of food to feed them and it's just like, yeah, let's give them beer instead? How is that coded into the game? That makes no sense. No sense at all. You're wasting good beer. Uh, uh, small problem. The heat wave we've been hit by has driven temperatures up to 50 C and the entire an map has been abandoned by animals. So we're going to have to live on our reserves of insect jelly. It's going to be expensive, but you know what? That's why we brought the insect jelly with us. Well, a minor inconvenience has appeared, and by minor, I mean another randy-sized incident. We have a mechanite cluster. 2.1 days until an EMA on oh my dynamo activates, which actually not a big deal. We don't have anything electrical. However, that's a really big, nasty, nasty set of problems. Gloom lights. Hmm, what weight are those? N nine kilos? No, thank you. We're just not going to touch those at all. We're going to leave them there, we're going to let them do their thing, and we're going to get out of here before that activates. Or even if it does activate, we'll, we'll, we'll just take care of this ancient danger and move on. There's no hanging around. I just noticed here that Kayan is having a very hard time of eating. Turns out on our last trip there, they got they did get clipped by that lancer. Took their jaw clean off. This is going to result in their ability to chew being drastically reduced. However, we do have options. One is we can put in dentures, that'll give them 80% efficiency. But I am feeling benevolent. Where do we put them? We have a healer mech serum, and this is the only way I know of that can give someone 100% mastication again. Body part restored. That's the only way to restore any body part. I don't think even Luciferium can restore that. That's the only way to get it. Eh, why not? Oh, and they need to get their name. I was going through the comments, and the best one I heard as a description was, well, they're beautiful, they're female, it has to be related to the hand, so say hello to Nails. Oh, and they've also got Cambier. Cam Cambier? Yeah, I, I remember that playthrough. Pete completed a wonderful playthrough involving a cannibal, but uh, I think I think nails will work out okay. She doesn't look like she'd eat anyone. Uh, and their shooting skills... Eh, you know what, we can get some training later on. After we get off this tile, uh, we're going to finish off these traps, then we're going to open up this, and then we're going to get out of here. We're not sticking around, especially considering the heat wave has driven away all the wildlife, and if any pirates show up... Well, actually, if any pirates show up, they'll go straight for the mech cluster. But if another mechs, if uh, we get attacked by a bunch of mechs right now, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, and would someone please go slaughter that dough so that we can make some more meals. Time to open up a tomb and see what Randy has in store for us today. Considering what's been going on so far, I wouldn't be surprised if it's something horrifying. Oh, just some bugs. Ooh, and there's a hammer. There's a hammer under that stellipede. It's a Persona Zeus hammer? Oh, hell yeah. Psy Meditative? This weapon's persona is naturally meditative and helps its wielder focus its psychic meditation. The wielder gains an extra 10% psi focus per day of meditation as long as the weapon is held. Well, Thumb, I think you just got a new weapon. Actually, does Thumb already have anything that's mono-sorted or anything? Nope, they just have a regular Zeus hammer. Perfect, let's just uh, clean out some bugs. Oh, bunch of luciferium, psychic soothe pulsar. Yep, all good. Now, do we have to run? Or are they going to need some coaxing? Oh, they're going to need some coaxing. All right, kitties, come on out to play. There we go. Perfect. 
Yep, one down. Yeah, you don't mess with these, these tribal wizards. All right, we'll move out the hammer, grab all that stuff, and then we'll open the crypto sleep. Actually, you know what? Let's do the crypto sleep caskets now. We don't have time to faff about. We want to be out of here by tomorrow morning. This will get a little degraded. It'll be fine. Actually, we'll let Index shoot at that. I'm sure at some point they'll miss and clip one of the ancient crypto sleep caskets, and we'll end up with some friends. Ooh, we ended up with some friends, all right. Two of we, which are immediately going to... Yeah, that, that looks like a glass thing with some powder across it. Also, nice hairdo. Let's let's see if any of them are worth keeping. They have nothing we care about. We are just going to... Ow! Index, uh, start running, buddy. That was uncomfortable. Well, at least they're shooting each other now. Oh, god damn it. I really should have been more careful about that. We can wait around the corner. That's fine. We'll just wait over here for you. And when you guys decide that you want to leave that shield bubble, we will be more than happy to come greet you. Otherwise, get out of here. I dislike the way some of these are trying to use cover to get away with things. I find teleporting them to a place where they don't have cover makes things much simpler. I think the rest of them are... Are you... Are you kidding me? You ran all the way around to attack my animals. Oh, I'm going to go around and take care of this one. You shot my alpaca. This is not going to end well for you. That was just the right amount of overkill, guys. Just the perfect amount of overkill. <laughs> All right, is any of them left alive? Yeah, they're unconscious, whatever. We don't care. We'll strip them down. The last one is running off the map. And if they're smart, they won't come back. Uh, let's pack everything up and get out of here. What the hell? I was busy doing a cleanup, and this guy came back. What? He was, he was running. What a muppet. Well, okay, buddy. You know what? Say hello to Pinky Thor. Oh, I love that. They just fly into combat and smack them straight in the face with a hammer. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Now, where did I put everyone else? You know what? We're going to let them fight it out. Beat them into unconsciousness. Yep, that looks like it stunned them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you should have stayed gone, buddy. Ah, oh, Pinky Thor. What, a, what an appropriate name. Before we head off, we might as well turn this steel into something more portable. And by that, I mean a bunch of games of ore. Why not? And I think we're going to pop down here and just shoot this open and run. We'll send Index down to do it. And if there's anything worthwhile, we'll go in. Otherwise, we'll just leg it. The reason I feel confident just cracking this open without having any traps done or anything ready or... Ooh, Nails is getting heatstroke. We should probably get them into better gear. Heatstroke initial. Hmm. One moment. Yeah, all we're facing is a Scyther, a Lancer, Pikeman. Yeah. Not so bad. The thing is, we've got enough people now that this is just a minor inconvenience. We'll run index away. Oh, we want to run them a little bit faster. That in, that Lancer has some really good range on it. We don't want that taking a beat on index anytime soon. And we'll just lead them back to our base. Oh, great. Ambrosia Sprite. After a little bit of shenanigans, we took care of the... Oh, the Lancer was the only one that I was worried about. The, the Pikeman did get off one shot, and we got a little bit of an injury on index here. They got a, a bruise to the torso and a little bit of a problem with the lung, but that nah, will be fine. We've opened up the caskets and we're dealing with uh, nothing too dangerous, but this one does have a bionic leg. We want to nick that. That one has a learning assistant. We might want to nick that as well. And this one has a bionic eye. I'm kind of feeling like nicking that too. Why not? We're going to pull everyone back, let them all out. And which one of you again has the uh, it's index, I believe, should have the shock lance. We are going to get index here to zap Vasquez. Oop, there we go. Uh, the rest of them will just gun down. We don't really care. Eh, spread out. Uh, start shooting. As long as we get the gold out of them, who cares? Don't hit Vasquez. Jesus. <laughs> you know, I was going to turn this place into a prison, but then I realized we've got one the other side, so who cares? We'll just uh, mow down lips here. And now we'll just capture the people we want. To make things more fun, Randy's thrown on a high psychic Joan high, a psychic Joan high for females. That's going to be interesting. We're going to immediately harvest this bionic leg. Then we're going to immediately harvest this bionic eye. Then we're going to immediately harvest this learning assistant. And then we're going to leave as quickly as we possibly can. I don't think Randy wants us to leave. They just, he just dropped a giant meteor of silver right there. Um, wonderful. However, we are going to harvest one or two more parts. And then we're, we're going. We're going to harvest the parts, maybe grab that meteor, and then get out of here. To help us get through the high psychic drone, I've activated one of our little, uh, what do you call them, soothe pulsers. This is giving everyone a plus 22 moodlet bonus. The strange feeling, which should last for the full day. 
That should give us just enough time to mine out all the silver. Yeah, we're out of here tomorrow morning. Uh, how is Vasquez doing? Have we... Yeah, that's the leg. We got this one. Anesthetic sedated. Anesthetic sedated. Yeah, we got all the parts. We can now just release a lot of them. We don't need them anymore. While we wait for morning, I should probably point out a few... Well, one change we made from the last setup. We now have the kitchen just a little bit enlarged so that Chief can sleep in there. Reason being, they're anesthetic. Putting them in a nice barracks was actually not great for them. Instead, we put them into the kitchen, which is horrible, and they're really happy with it because the aesthetic has an awful bedroom. Yeah, perfect. Works out. All right, first thing tomorrow morning, we're getting everyone out of here. Though we're leaving the boom below behind. It somehow managed to develop a luciferium addiction. Oops. Normally, I would stay around in places like this a little longer, but the heat wave drove off all the animals. Now we've got really these mega scarabs, and uh, animals are starting to return now, but by and large, we were just living entirely on our pemmican reserves, or our insect jelly. That's not what I want to do. I want to make sure we've got a, a good supply of backup food, so it's time to move on immediately and get some more food somewhere else. Uh, everyone's just loading up the caravan now. We're going to send off Chief on their own, or Nails on their own, and then we'll follow along once we've uninstalled all the furniture. Good news, finally! Index and Nails have now become lovers. Excellent. I Index courted Nails by com commend commending her judgment. Nails was distracted as now Index's lover. Yeah, we've got to give him a bed. So Index and Nails together. You know, I feel like I should re sort of rearrange these into couples. There we go. We've got Thumb and Middle, Ring and Pinky, Index and Nails. Now, we just need to get someone for Chief. Now, considering Chief is an ascetic, we should keep an eye out for another ascetic female. And then uh, we could totally have a, a just like a proper whole couples thing going around. Uh, and, and never mind, never mind. We'll let, the, uh, we'll let the caravan head off and then we'll dismantle this whole place and get out of here. Oh, and Thumb, are you, are you finished resting yet? Once you're up, I'm going to want you to immediately... Oh, where's the caravan going? Oh, yep, caravan is leaving the good way. Uh, once Thumb is up, we're going to let them grab some food and then we're immediately going to get them to pick up their hammer. This is Thumb's moment. Once bonded, yes, yes, yes. Tens plus side focus for day for meditation. Nice. You know what? We'll equip that as the sidearm. I want them wielding the hammer pretty much all the time. That way they get the side focus bonus. Plus it looks cool. Uh, let's uninstall this place and get out of here. And there goes another colony. Oh, damn it. I kept the boom love. That one's got uh, a luciferium need. You know what? We'll abandon it once we're on the road. That will probably be the safest way. And no, do not. Yeah, I can see that. They're, they're heading right there. You know what? No, you are not going right there. We are going to cancel this entire caravan and we're going to load it up again. And next time you're going to go a different direction. Actually, wait, they don't have any proximity detectors. There's, there's nothing there. I think, I think we're safe to actually just send him through. I mean, why not? Let's find out in a minute. Yeah, there's no proximity detector, so they should just be able to wander right through without causing any problems. Bye-bye, guys. Nice to see you. You're the whole reason I'm leaving. I did not fancy staying staying with that as sticking around the place. And we're out of here. Now that our caravan is on the road, I think it's time we started abandoning this old colony. I really did want to go back in here at some point and collect all the, uh, the gold and silver, but they're not leaving and there's nothing coming in to stop them. They're just going to camp this spot for eternity, it seems. This must be how ancient dangers are created. Eh, well, I wonder what happens if we delete that spot. Do they cease to exist? Do they still continue in some form or another? You know what? Who cares? Same with this lot. Also gone. There was a few things I would have liked to stay for, like a bit of silver here and there. But you know what? With that thing there, I was not willing to risk it. Some, someone comes along and triggers it, and we could be in so much trouble. So, goodbye. Oh, there's an Ibex ram in there. Don't care. This is our newest settlement just down the road, because of course it is, we're not stopping. Uh, we're going to settle in here right in between these two blocks of, well, mountains, I suppose. There's an ancient danger right here beside us, and there is a tree right down from us. We're actually going to get in a, a sci level this time. This is tribal wizards, and we're definitely getting our wizard levels up. Unless there's a heat wave, or a toxic fallout, or, you know, something that kills all the plants, or drives away all the animals, or does something that makes it really hard to do. Otherwise, we're staying here until it's done. All right, we are getting much, much faster at that. Whole thing set up. We are currently in a very impressive barracks. We do have to do a little bit of cleaning up before it'll become extremely impressive. Everyone should be nice and happy for tomorrow, and we'll go crack open that uh, ancient danger. How much steel did we get out of that? 352. Plenty for traps. We will finish it ma mining the last of that vein of steel, and you know, we will mine out all of that compacted machinery. The mod that allows you to do that, where you just right-click a, a mining section and mine out the entire vein, is the allow tool. Or wait, yeah, the allow tool. 
allow to us. Um, anything else? No, I think once we get these traps up, we can immediately open this up. What time is it? Oh, 7 a.m. in the morning almost, and we're just about ready to open this up, assuming Nails doesn't mess that up. Come on, Nails. Come on. Good job. Uh, let's get people together. And we are good to go. A few traps won't hurt. And it was quick and easy to build here. Uh, we got three pikemen. Yeah, that's a doddle. Psychic Soothe Pulsar, four advanced components, 14 more Luciferium. How much Luciferium you got left? 50. We got 50 Luciferium and at least three of our pawns are on it. Maybe four, I can't even remember anymore. Uh, yeah, we clear this out and then we turn this into our surgery room. Uh, we might want to drill a hole through there. We're just going to pull back and we're going to let those pikemen do themselves a favour. Come on, are you going to avoid the traps? You could be magical. Could be, could be. Oh, totally did it, chief. No. Bold, chief. Uh, you know what we will get you to do, though? Uh, oh. No, you know what? We're going to get you to run. I was going to get them to open the crypto sleep caskets, but we'll just uh, let this bow neatly tie itself. Well, never mind then. Okay, everyone. Uh, Pinky, we're going to have you maybe jet over there nice and close. And then you can give them a bit of a smack. And then everyone else, I'm going to want you to get in there and melee attack. That almost feels just mean. Oh well, I'm good with that. Oh, I think we've managed to attract its attention. Perfect. We'll just uh, pull it outside. And it's dead. Perfect. Now let's see who's inside those Cryptos caskets. We threw together a quick door by chopping down a couple of trees. We're going to hold this open with index. And then we're going to get them to stand back a bit. I think they should be able to clip that from there. Yeah. And let's see what Santa's got in store for us. And ow! Oh, damn it. I've only got one of those shield bubbles so far. I'd really like a few more. Yeah, we'll pull everyone back. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, Psy disablers, so we'll just have to see who's who we get out of this. After the last crowd, I was maybe being a little bit too optim- Nails? What you doing, buddy? I said go up there. Uh, they seem like... Ooh, a bunch of Muppets. Uh, uh, we will draw them around the corner and then shoot them if needs to be. Oh, that one looks like he's returning fire. Everyone out of the way. Uh, that one might actually be going around to hit our animals. The plan here is quite simple. I'm just going to wait around the corner. Oh, they're going after the animals. Once they show their face around the corner, if they try and hide there... Oh, never mind. We skipped them in front of our people. Uh, you know what? I am hunting them down. You're not getting to run away. Who the hell is that? A friendly that showed up? And oh, the map is on fire. I probably should have been paying more attention. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go down and clean up the last of these mess. I don't want any of these getting away. Yeah, you're gonna run away from the real fight and go shoot some animals, you absolute nonce. Wow, how is that one still alive? Uh, Thumb? I'm gonna want you to maybe stun them. Yeah, good stun will be fine. Wow, they're still... Oh, they have cover. Never mind. Wow, they took a hell of a pounding. Keep forgetting. Our marine armor's really good. Now let's go grab Snow and Bazaar. You know what I've been thinking? Oh, I was about to teleport them into the middle of us. I was thinking, so long as we get them into close combat range, there's nothing they can do. Oh, seriously, you're gonna shoot my animals? Ah! ah. <laughs> the alpacas are taking, are taking reparations into their own hands. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I'll just tidy up the mess here. In fact, oh, damn it, I'm out of time. Oh, yeah. We should have probably got more done today, but the initial attack really threw me for a loop. There was a lot of chaos there at the start when those, uh, those mechanoids showed up. But I think we survived it pretty well. We did lose a lot of wealth, but we didn't die. We've cleared this out. We've also got a new operation area. This is where we're going to be doing operations, and we picked up a bunch of things we can install. We got a bionic eye, a bionic leg, and we got a learning assistant. The learning assistant should be quite useful. It gives them a 25% bonus to whatever they're trying to learn. Uh, so learning assistant, yeah, basically allows them to learn anything faster. So if they're doing a lot of shooting, they'll learn shooting 20% faster, that kind of thing. I'm thinking that's going to be very useful for some of our, say, slower learners in the class. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Mm -hmm.